In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up Fitbit Pay on your Fitbit Charge 5. So starting with your Fitbit app on your phone, go ahead and tap on it. And then assuming you're on the Today tab, go ahead and tap on your profile picture in the upper left hand corner. Next, find Charge 5 in your list of devices and tap on it. And then find the little icon for Wallet and go ahead and tap on that. Now it says Touch ID for Fitbit. Fitbit requires Touch ID or passcode authentication to secure your digital wallet. So I guess on iPhone at least, I need to do my Touch ID. All right, so now it says an easy way to pay. Make purchases with a tap of your wrist, leave your wallet at home, and use Fitbit Pay at any store that accepts contactless payments. So we can swipe. Enhanced security. We use industry standard tokenization and never store your credit card numbers. Plus, you'll still get the same fraud protection from your bank. Tap and go at leading transit systems. So you can also use this for transit if it's um, compatible. So our growing list includes transit systems in New York City, London, Chicago, Singapore, Portland, Taiwan, Miami, Sydney, Vancouver, and Bucharest. Sorry if I said that wrong. <laughs> Uh, then it says get started or see supported banks. So I'll just show you real quickly. This is probably going to go yeah, to their website. So you still have to make sure your banks are supported. So it works with major credit and debit cards from top banks and card issuers as well as transit from around the world. So you can look by country. So you can see which banks are accepted for your country. And it shows all these countries, so like down here for the United Kingdom, there are less options as the United States, things like that. So you have to find your country and see if your card is accepted, but I am here in the United States and I'm going to set up a Chase Visa card, so that should be available. So I'll go ahead and say done here and I'll go ahead and tap on get started. So it says it's preparing. All right, charge five security. So this is where you need to set up device lock because it needs to make sure that you are uh, wearing your device and you are the person wanting to use the card who owns the card. So uh, setting up payments does require you to set up device lock. So device lock uses a pin code to secure your charge five. To enable device lock, first set a pin. So. I'm going to tap set pin code. And so it says enter a four digit pin code. I'm not going to actually use this on my device, so I'm just going to do 0000, zero, zero, zero but go ahead and pick a more uh, less guessable pin code for yourself. And then re enter it. So it says the pin is set and it's setting up the pin code. So basically, the phone is talking to the Charge 5 via Bluetooth. All right, so now we have this little thing here where if you want to set up transit, you can uh, tap here. Otherwise, you can tap to set up a credit or de debit card here, which is what I'm going to do. So here it says enter your card info. So we need to enter our card number, expiration date, and security code, as well as your first name and last name and middle name or initial if it appears on your card. So. Go ahead and enter that information now. All right, so once you've entered your information, go ahead and tap on next. And now it's asking to enter your billing address. So we have address line one and two, city, state, region, or province, zip or postal code, and country. So go ahead and enter that now. And once you've entered that, go ahead and tap next. So it says adding payment card, contacting issuers may take a few minutes. Here are the terms in extremely small font size, but it looks like you can um, zoom in and scroll if needed. So you can read through that, and if you agree, go ahead and tap agree. If not, tap disagree, but you won't be able to set up payments. So I'm going to agree and tap agree. So it says contact room issuer. This may take a few minutes. In the meantime, where to pay? Look for contactless or mobile payment symbols at the register. 
how to pay, press and hold the left button from any screen. So that doesn't quite work because there's no button in Fitbit. Uh, for Fitbit, what you would do is from your clock face, you would swipe down and tap on payments. But it looks like I did have an error adding this card to Fitbit Pay. So I'm going to tap OK and I'm going to tap Next and I'm going to tap Agree and we'll see if it succeeds and then it says Complete Payment, place the watch face near the reading chair, feel the vibration. Okay, so looks like there's a little progress bar here up at the top and it just went away and it's starting over again, so maybe it's a two-step process, I'm not sure. It looks like it might be doing something more than the last time. Alright, so it looks like it finally did work. Alright, so I did just receive the code. Let's see if it shows up on my Fitbit. Alright, it says... So this shows you what the notification looks like also. So I'm going to tap to read. It says use this one-time activation code to enroll your Chase credit card to your digital wallet. So 532359. Alright, so I'm going to tap verify. All right, it says your card was successfully added to your Fitbit Pay wallet. So there's a little progress bar here. Maybe I'll wait for that. I've never seen a progress bar do that where it goes all the way to the fills up and then goes back. But anyway, it looks like I can say finish. So I'll go ahead and tap on finish. And there we go. So in my payments, it now says that I have my Amazon Reward Visa card. I can tap on that to see more information. I can also look at the privacy policy, terms and conditions. I can also remove the card from this section if I want to. So now if I actually want to use this in the store, I'm not going to show you using it, but show you how to access it. So from your clock face, you'll want to swipe down and then tap on payments. And it says select card for payment, hold wrist near payment terminal. So I'll go ahead and tap got it. And it says tap to unlock. And now I'll need to enter my passcode. So you can change, scroll back and forth, to figure out which numbers you need, enter them one at a time. So I'm gonna tap and mine was here and here and that was the correct pin so now it's showing this little uh, hold near reader and it's showing a little thing showing it's my card I'll show you that again just real quick so it shows the last four digits and kind of matches the visual look of my card so you'll hold your charge 5 screen to the reader, so like this, you go ching, and then that's how you should be able to use your Fitbit Charge 5 to uh, use contactless payments. So, one last thing I'll show you then is so if you want to get out of that, you just swipe to the left and you can swipe again to get back to your clock face. And then, if you need to change your pin at some point, we will go back here and it's from this charge 5 screen, which you get to from the main today tab, tapping on your profile picture and tapping on charge 5. You'll scroll down to device lock. And then it says right now it's enabled for Pip Fitbit Pay only. And then you can change your pin here. And it says Fitbit will ask you to authorize using touch ID. So I'll go ahead and say change. Then I'll touch ID and then you can enter your new code here. So let's say I want 1111, which I'm not going to keep either, but just 
to show you how you can do this. And then the only way that you can get rid of that device lock for Fitbit Pay is to remove Fitbit Pay. You can also set up device lock without Fitbit Pay. Um, I guess it used to be that you had to have device lock even if you use Fitbit Pay, so I think they changed that. So you only enter your PIN when you're uh, using Fitbit Pay, so that's probably beneficial for a lot of people. So it looks like that did change my pin. So now if I go back here and I try to enter the payments and I tap unlock and I say 0000, she gave me an error. Yeah. So then I would need to go to 1, 1, 1, 1. So there you go. So that's how you set up Fitbit Pay on your Fitbit Charge 5. If this video helped you, please give a thumbs up down below and consider subscribing if you want to see more Fitbit Charge 5 how-to videos. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.